Hey everyone, we're here with Andreas of Podio uh, to talk a little bit about rest hooks. Andreas, you want to uh, briefly tell everyone who you are and what Podio does? Sure. Um, my name is Andreas. Uh, I'm the founding developer of Podio, which is a fancy way of saying I was the, the first one on board. Um, these days I have uh, two um, jobs within Podio. One is a, is a regular front-end engineer taking care of our JavaScript front-end. The other one is maintaining our developer relations uh, and uh, taking, taking uh, care of a couple of our API clients. So I'm, I'm the guy answering all the stupid questions about the Podio API. <laughs> um, Podio itself is an online work platform where you can organize any kind of uh, work that you do. Um, and uh, and uh, interact with it with your colleagues. Cool. So has the Podio API been around since the very beginning, or was it something you guys la launched later? Uh, when did the Podio API like come into the picture? <laughs> it's actually a funny story because um, the Podio web front end and uh, our mobile clients, our iOS and Android clients, are built on the same API that we expose to third parties. So we've had uh, an API built-in from the start, and that's been the plan since the get-go. Um, so from uh, our point of view, our web front-end is just another, uh, just another Podio API client. Gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. We do the exact same thing. Um, now, what about webhooks? Was, was that something that also came along at the very beginning, or uh, was that a, a later development? I actually had to look this up because I couldn't remember it. Um, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't quite figure it out. So we either launched uh, with webhooks or they came within the first month. Um, wow. I had, so a, you... I had a little trouble figuring out the date. <laughs> yeah, but still, like to have a, even if it's within a month, that's close enough to call it the same time, right? <laughs> yeah. um, that's actually pretty remarkable. Most people uh, tend to have an API and then webhooks follow suit. Uh, later after they kind of experience a bit of pain around polling or they get a use case that comes up that makes real time effective. Um, was, there, was there any reason that you guys decided to, to launch webhooks nearly at the same time, if not at the same time? Um, I wish I could answer that. It's actually mm -hmm. lost to the... Uh, <laughs> to the nether. Yeah, I, have, I, I, I honestly can't, can't remember. It's, it's been mm -hmm. too long. Um, we've always had pretty restrictive uh, rate limiting in place. Um, to make sure that we could scale proportionally to 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 the regular use that that, that we have, um, so my best guess would be that we were thinking that we needed to keep uh, keep polling down from the very beginning. Gotcha. So even from the outset, you guys were thinking about what's this look like at scale? What's this look like? You know, in five years when people are using, uh, you know. Podio data inside of other applications and things like that. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's you can quickly get into a situation where you're performing really expensive operations in mm -hmm. Podio because we have generic fields um, for all our data, and you can perform any kind of crazy, wacky filtering on top of that. So especially those filtering operations can get really expensive really quickly. Um, and those are the ones that people are polling for. Gotcha. So it just made a lot more sense to, to allow people to get push notifications right out the gate. Absolutely. Cool. Um, so another interesting component about the way you guys set up uh, webhooks is you uh, let people set them up and tear them down via uh, an API endpoint. Uh, we like to call this rest hooks. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, the decision to allow that versus you know having a static URL that a user has to paste in elsewhere. Yeah, so it's actually a bit of an accident, I think. I don't think anyone was thinking about it. But because our web front end um, runs on the same API, we had to create um, a RESTful interface on how to uh, create and, and destroy these, these webhooks because that's what our web front end is doing. Um, and since our mode for exposing uh, API operations is default on, then they, it just sort of happens, right? Like, we have to think about it before we lock something down. And in this case, no one, no one thought to do that because there's no reason to. Yeah. Um, we've seen people are very happy about it, um, especially people who 
uh, create third-party products on top of the Podio API because they can uh, provision new customers on their end much more efficiently because they can just ask their customers to authenticate and then they do the rest behind the scenes, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something our partners are, are very, very happy about. Yeah, it's interesting how with you guys, because you built your app on top of uh, your APIs, it sounds like it forced you to make a lot of good decisions around your API uh, instead of you know running into to those bottlenecks via third parties. Instead, you just kind of discovered them yourselves and built what made sense uh, to power your front end. It certainly makes you, makes you think about how to maintain backwards compatibility and, and all those things right out of the gate because you're, especially in the beginning where everything is a moving target, it, uh, it, it can lead to chaos otherwise. <laughs> For sure. Um, so any other interesting uh, bits that you guys experience? Uh, any uh, interesting successes around your API or anything that has been really challenging for you guys when talking about API or webhooks? Uh, as you've you know progressed from launching them way back when up until this point today, um, I, I guess the the challenge that we that we see the most is when for um, developers who are not necessarily very experienced with the web, mm -hmm. um, webhooks are still a pretty hard concept to grasp and and still pretty hard to debug when, th when something goes wrong. So that's what we hear the most often, whereas with polling, it's, it's easy, right? You just throw more network resources at the problem. Mm -hmm. um, so especially for web inexperienced developers, webhooks and rest hooks can, can be a quite foreign uh, concept for them to understand um, why doesn't it work behind my firewall and all these kinds of questions. Um, uh, for specific successes, we have we have partners who are who are using uh, our webhooks quite extensively, and uh, I think the the biggest uh, success that we have is is uh, various forms of people who are doing various forms of uh, email integrations where uh, they don't have to sit and poll for new content in in Podio to to send out their customer notifications and so on. Um, that kind of stuff is is very interesting to to sit and watch from the sidelines. Mm -hmm. That's great. So you mentioned having challenges around uh, debugging webhooks. Have you guys uh, come up with any interesting solutions to that or found any ways to kind of uh, make it a little bit easier, whether it's on yourself or the third party, for debugging some of that stuff? Um, so it's a little bit out of scope for, for Podio, the company, mm -hmm. to handle, I think. Um, there are some tools out there that definitely, I think, need to be uh, publicized more that, that can create like local tunnels to your local computer um, to expose it to the to the public internet so you can uh, send debug webhooks uh, locally. Uh, I think not enough people know about those uh, those tools. Mm -hmm. What I, off the top of your head, what are some of the tools you're thinking about? Now you're forcing me to look at my bookmark. <laughs> uh, what are they called? I think I'll have to get back to you. Post That's all right. If you want to just fire me an email after this, that yeah, would be great. Yeah, post catcher is one for sure. Mm -hmm. um, that can catch post requests. I'll yeah. find a few more for you. Excellent. All great, right. Andreas. Well, this has been really informative. Uh, I I'm, uh, really appreciate your time, and hopefully uh, some folks can learn a little bit about uh, uh, good API and webhook practices from this. We certainly hope so.